Every Wednesday, Apple Unbox lands in subscribers' mailboxes. It's an all-things Apple guide to what's going on with the world's most fascinating company. Each weekend, I'll be publishing just one item from a previous newsletter. Apple Unboxed has much more stuff, including exclusive interviews, reviews before you can read them anywhere else, no, I mean anywhere, long read features, comparison pieces, news items and more. To see all that, you'll need to subscribe, and you'll get it sooner, too. Sign up here. Here's just one of the things subscribers saw in last week's issue. What are your questions about the next iPhone? Read on to find out when it's coming, how many variants there'll be, and what the upgrades are likely to include. Oh, and what's been left out? We don't know yet but I'm prepared to place a smallish bet on the next crop of Apple phones being announced at 10 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday, September 14th. Yes, that's less than three weeks from now. Which would mean that on Friday, September 24th, the phones will be in store and in customers' hands. More details here. There are only two contenders for the name, iPhone 12s or iPhone 13. Apple reserves a whole number update for when it feels the design has changed substantially. So, the iPhone 8, though it strongly resembled the iPhone 7 from the front, was a significant design change because it had a glass back, making the phone capable of wireless charging. Rumors suggest the true depth camera panel, commonly called the notch, will shrink this time around, though it'll still be very much there. Will that, and a predicted change to the look of the cameras on the rear be enough to justify the name iPhone 13 or will Apple go with iPhone 12s to indicate that almost all the new improvements are hidden inside? It's hard to know, but I don't think Apple will steer away from iPhone 13 just because the number is considered unlucky. There's the notch mentioned above, and those cameras. It looks like the iPhone 13, let's call it that for now, and the iPhone 13 mini will have the cameras arranged diagonally instead of vertically, which on its own could mean the whole number changed to the name, and this placement means larger lenses can be accommodated, though probably in a larger panel than now. The Pro models will look more like they do now, though bigger lenses are expected on all but the Max, which changed to larger cameras last time around. Even it is likely to have a larger camera panel, though. Some phone dummies claiming to be the next iPhones have shown differently sized camera lenses on the purported iPhone 13 Pro, with two larger lenses and one smaller. I find this to be hopelessly unlikely. Even if the functionality of the lens only requires something smaller, I believe Apple will make them all the same size for cosmetic reasons. I believe the screen sizes will exactly mirror the current iPhone crop, that is, iPhone 13 mini with 5.4-inch display, iPhone 13 Pro Max with 6, 